All right, it's been way too long since I last saw any of you guys here. This is the Windows Tech channel. Um, I'm trying to get my damn camera to focus and then this thing, here, which it's refusing to, so, um, okay, there we go. That's, that should work. All right, so, um, quite a few things happened while I was away. I did get a few new computer things, um, and I even did get a few things of System Restore Media from, uh, Computer Surgeons, one of which may even include things for this PC right here, but, um, I'm just gonna set that to the side. This, this thing here is gonna be, um, the current test PC for now. This is a Compact Presario SR5413WM machine, which, uh, this thing still carries the 2000s compact logo, until like 2008, like, I think like 1998 to 2008 or something, and, uh, this thing currently has 3 gigs of RAM, an AMD Athlon processor, and a 1 terabyte hard drive. Now, you would think that today's video would be me using the, uh, system recovery media for, um, for, uh, this PC, which I believe is this set right here, the, uh, I think that's... KZ eight six eight five six AB. That's I know I should not be giving serial numbers away to the public, but that yeah, the thing has uh, the thing came pre-installed Windows Vista um, Home Premium, I believe Service Pack One. Uh, no, that's not today's video. This year alone, I actually got not one but two things that we're gonna be attempting to install in today's video on this PC. We got a copy of Windows Vista Beta 2. I actually got these from the exact same seller on eBay, by the way, two different times. And a uh, Release Candidate 1 build, which this uh, which this one was the earlier of the two that I got in terms of when I got these uh, things here. So today I'm going to attempt to install both builds. Now, how I'm gonna do this is that I'm going to be, um, I'm gonna be clean installing um, the beta two build first, then I'm gonna be upgrading it to um, release candidate one. Now, the system recovery for the Compact Zero SR5413 WM through DVDs, which does take a long time, will be in the next video. So it's, it's just uh, stick around for that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, well, first of all, I actually do need to boot it into the BIOS because there's a time bomb on these um, builds, so. Um, let's get into the BIOS on this machine. That is the uh, uh, F10 key. Oh, apparently I didn't want to register my uh, keyboard in time. Well, let me try that again. Uh, okay, it's just not registering my keyboard for some reason. It does recognize on the front USB port, though. Um, I do have a uh, viable speaker hooked up to this thing. It's a Bluetooth speaker. I know, it's original. Alright, let me try once more. You know, you know, I don't think the USB keyboard is working well. Um, <laughs> let me go ahead and uh, pause here while I work out a solution, and uh, I'll meet you guys back in the BIOS. Okay, there we go. So, um, turns out that my keyboard just wasn't being supported very right, well. Um, gonna go ahead and put the 32-bit disc in because. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this um, PC cannot handle 64-bit anything. I don't know why the screen is jittering. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it's actually... Um, right. Yeah, the CMOS is a tiny bit off, but other than that... Mm. 
Alright, just waiting for my watch to sync up. Alright. And we gotta set the date back to May... I think 23rd I read? Okay. Um, and floppy disk act. Fun fact, this PC actually has IDE... No, it has an IDE motherboard in it, but... It, but um, Compaq literally just converted everything over to SATA, so that's kind of funny. All right, so we're just gonna wait. Um, let's look at the boot device priority. Okay. Right, exit saving changes. I believe this actually still has Windows Vista on here right now. So, all right, just going to wait for it to. All right, we got a boot from the DV CD or DVD. And I believe it is loading files. All right, so shouldn't take too long. Now let's see, and well, meet you guys back at the installation screen. Okay, so that time lapse um, when I watched it back looked a little bit choppy, I just noticed. Um, thank you, Apple, for that one. Um, anyways, my, <laughs> my screen is kind of um, very a little bit. But anyways, if you guys just saw within the time lapse footage, there is um, a modified uh, boot screen. And pardon that, my mouse is actually on top of the keyboard. Um, actually, all right. The tower, that's what I meant to say, the computer tower. All right, now it's on a mouse pad on the floor, so we're good. All right, so go ahead and uh, click install now. And it will take a little bit. And this thing actually does have a product key on in the inside, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter that real quick, even though you can actually find this product key on the betawiki.net, so... Yeah, I'm just going to enter it off camera anyway. All right, so now we just uh, have to carefully read through the uh, license terms and whatnot. And then uh, click next. And then we got to do a custom install. Uh, oh, apparently I forgot that this hard drive already had um, the factory install of Windows Vista in here. So that's great. I'm just going to delete both partitions, which have that and the recovery partition. I really do not need it, so it's... <laughs> uh, we'll be getting it back anyway in the next video, which is where I actually um, restore this PC to factory settings, which... This might be a same-day record, I don't know. But, um, yeah, there's the disk zero unallocated space. Let's go ahead and uh, get this thing installed. And... Oh boy. Well, cue the music. This will take a while. All right, so that was one reboot later, and now we're at this uh, please like all those repairs to start. Now this here screen has not changed from Windows XP. I mean, okay, you can make the argument that it has, but obviously it's no longer um, it's no longer blue and it's just black, and there's a Windows Vista logo, and the inner thing was a uh, gray, and now you can see. Windows Vista Beta 2, build 5384. Now that, according to the Beta Wiki, which is a reliable source, by the way, is the official um, build number for um, for uh, this year build. So, 
So with all that said, um, that's all I really wanted to come back for, and I'll uh, time lapse the rest of this installation. All right, so we are back. And now, that was two reboots later. Just waiting on this here thing to finish um, doing its thing. And here we are at the uh, out of box experience. So it's so you have the country or region and the keyboard layout here. Click next. And now I'm just gonna <laughs> I'll click. Damn it. Okay, Windows Tech. There we go. No, we just, uh, we do get a few more, um, uh, now some of these you do not get in the final build of, um, Vesto, like that rock one, uh, yeah, I believe these two right here actually did get in the final build of Vista, but that, I, th I think, yeah, some of these I think are in the final build, you just have to, you just have to go looking for them, um, anyways... I am going to use recommended settings, even though it is way past its, um, but it's not 630. Thank you. And you're ready to start. All right. So, and if I remember correctly, this thing does have, um, Windows XP sounds. All right. Power on your desktop. Now, I did this on my 2005 compact machine, which you'll be seeing in your video, which is the SR1410NX. And, yep, there it is. Um, this speaker works. And it does indeed have the Windows XP sound. So, at least we know the audio drivers are indeed working. And this thing does say Windows Vista Ultimate. I believe that's what it installs. Um, yeah, you can't activate this, so you're completely screwed if you try to use this as a daily driver. Manufacturer unknown, model unknown. Um, more details. And, oh, this thing has a... This thing literally has a 1.0 rating on the um, thing here. However... Processor has a 4, memory has a um, 5.4, hard disk has a 2. Point, has a 5.1, and graphics, um, I forget where the graphics come from, um, we'll find that out once we um, put um, the factory install of um, Vista back on this machine, and gaming not detected, so 1. Yeah, that is absolutely something I want to deal with. <laughs> Or whatnot. Um, and the Windows Update logo is still the XP logo. So, um, all right. So, yeah, UAC. Yeah. Um, you can't even do that later because you have to activate online. Um, this thing has no telephone option, so that really sucks. Um, let's see if I can real quick, um, change the screen resolution, display settings, there we go, um, oh, I mean, we can, but let's do 1280 by 1024, is that the highest this thing can do? Uh, oh yes, that is actually perfect for this thing, so this thing does have the proper, um, video drivers, which is very surprising. 
However, you can see it kind of cuts off a little bit. Like half a recycle bin on there. So, um, so this thing just installs the um, normal things here. Like, I'll zoom in a little bit. This thing does have the ultimate extras. I think. By the way, I do have the uh, RTM build. Uh, Windows Vista Ultimate. That is a physical. That is a physical copy, by the way. Um, default internet. Yeah, this thing just has its um, normal versions of the thing here, and this thing does have the Windows games. So games and options. Um. Oh, I did not even. I did not even think about this. This thing has beta like. It's got like beta versions of the um. Thing here. Look at that. Oh, look at the release date, January 1st, 2000. That's kind of funny. I'm going to go ahead and try and run Solitaire here. Hardware acceleration is either disabled or not supported by the video card driver. So, so yeah, it just tries to load resources, so that's great. Now, I want to go into Device Manager real quick because I want to see what you might have on here. So, um, Oh, also, we can run good old Winver. And as you can see right here, expires May 31st, 2007 at 759. Now we can just, um, device manager. This thing also has pen and input devices, even though this thing damn well cannot support that. Um, but as you can see, we do have a few non-working devices. Computers, just a uh, disk drives, ATA device. I'm pretty sure that is the uh, one terabyte drive. Standard VGA graphics adapter. Uh, DVD is the HP DVD drive. Well, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, there are some, uh, yeah, IDE controllers. But once again, they got the guts to convert that to SATA for it to work for some reason. We do have a PS2 keyboard plugged up. It is a um, Logitech one. Uh, fun fact, I do have the driver disc for that. <laughs> for, like all the advanced functions it has. Um, high definition audio device. So it does install that by default. That's pretty cool though. Um, so that's actually just going to wrap it up for this video. The next video I'm actually going to attempt to upgrade this build to release candidate two. So stay, so stick around for that.